Now, as some some of y'all really don't, you know, watch basketball and whatnot, but that's why I'm here to share this with y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here to talk this. And this is about to be March Madness, which is crazy. I advise all of y'all out here to check out basketball, March Madness. I really, I don't do the whole basketball the whole year round because, you know, football really doesn't have an off season. But I'm going to bring it to y'all, man. And um, shit, you know. And you request y'all know what, man. You know, I got y'all, man. Shoot, you know. I'm surprised y'all up this early rocking with me, man, on this Sunday, you know. <laughs> I use it. It's crazy, you know. Um, so uh yeah, uh the the crazy game I want to talk about right now from the NCAA men's side of things is the Arizona Wildcats. Y'all know they got beat last night by USC led by Isaiah Collier, Bronny James, you know, that's where LeBron's son and all that play. And um, Boogie Ellis, you know, Boogie Ellis is a monster. He's a guard too. It's crazy because DJ Rodman played for them too, uh, for USC, and they took him down last night. The final score was 65 to 78, man. And that game right there, Isaiah Collier, he's a freshman, man. Monsters had 16 points four rebounds, five assists. He went off. Bronny James only had 5.6 rebounds, one assist. Uh, the, the leader for the game was uh, Kobe Johnson, had 19.3 rebounds, four assists. D DJ Rodman had 19.7 rebounds, and he had an assist. But in that game, though, I you would think that Arizona would have won because the U this is the Pac-12 tournament, so everybody plays, I guess, right? USC – it's 15 and seven. They garbage. They hot garbage. Right? Let's just, just call it what it is right now. You know what I'm saying? They lost 17 games. Arizona came into that game 24 and seven. They dropped the 24 and eight. They was number five ranked in the country. Number five. And they got beat. I'm talking 65 to 78. You know what I'm saying? I guess you could call that what that when you get lose by double digits, that's bad in basketball, right? Correct me if I'm wrong now, I'm Hoopers, but they don't look good to me. You know what I'm saying? It just don't. But they, 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 that was a big, significant win out there for anybody who went out there. So, and then we have another one in the Big 12 tournament. You got the Oklahoma State Cowboys. They beat a BYU. I mean, BYU beat them. I'm sorry, 85 71. Just want to run through some scores with y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to keep getting into all the stats and all the games and all that. Auburn, as I know, number 13, Auburn, they beat Georgia 92-78. Uh, USC took down Duke at 84-79. These uh, Kentucky beat Tennessee yesterday. That was another uh, upset because Kentucky was number 15 and Tennessee was four. And, uh, so that's 85. They would won 85, 81, not by a lot, but uh Houston just looking unstoppable out there. They number one in the country right now. They beat number 14, Kansas, 46 to 76 in a slaughter fashion. Like I, I don't see nobody messing with Houston right now. Um, if you really don't know too much about NCAA basketball, um, I'm not advising you to spit, put your money on Houston, but look, I, you might want to look into doing that if you like putting down a little bit of money to make things interesting. They're looking crazy right now, and so is UConn. UConn looking like they want to go back to the big dance, too. They took down Providence yesterday, 74 to 60, all right? Um, now, just for some, you know, a little bit of, though, a little bit of, you know, the, the other divisions in there, in the Southern Conference Tournament, Furman, which they usually got a decent basketball squad, right? You know what I mean? That they beat uh I can't remember the name of the school. I want to say West uh West Charleston or something, but they beat them 79 to 76 yesterday. That was a, that was another one, but we got some good games on today. You want to watch. We want to be uh 12:30 today. We got Wisconsin taking on Purdue. That's the uh Big 10 tournament, you know what I'm saying? We got to watch that Austin Pay playing Stetson. You want to watch for that one too. Stanford, uh, Samford playing Furman today at four o'clock. You want to watch that. Illinois, number 12, Illinois is playing Iowa, y'all, at seven today, later on in the night. I'm going to definitely be watching that game. And look, man, I'm going I'm to keep it moving on to the uh, women's side of things real quick too, because I got to show some love to the ladies, dog. You know what I mean? I got to, man. I got to. 
not enough of us do it out here, man. Not enough of us do it out here. And I would appreciate us all to do that. You know, every content creator out there, I advise y'all to show some love to the women's side of things too, man, because they are athletes nonetheless. But um, you couldn't imagine who's balling and not in those uh games, right? But yesterday, right, Tennessee almost took out South Carolina, seventy three to seventy four. South Carolina is led by Dawn Staley's. Uh, Dawn Staley's team is crazy. They're crazy good on the women's side of things. So is Tennessee. Um, Tennessee is crazy good too. They got a WNBA player on their squad. Uh, I know a lot of y'all are familiar with the name Caitlin Clark from Iowa. Um, she's a monster, three point shooter, shooting out there like Steph Curry in a hurry. You hear me? Uh, they beat Michigan 68 95 in the Big Ten tournament yesterday. Was so they're going to the semifinals. I, I can't remember who they're going to be taking on, but I'm gonna get them names for y'all in a minute. Um, so we got, and then uh, Texas took out Kansas in the Big 12 tournament. Now, this is on the women's side of things, right? LSU took out Ole Miss. So LSU will be playing um, South Carolina in the SEC final game today. That's going down. West uh, Kansas State took out West Virginia. So now we got today in the Big Ten tournament final, you got Nebraska taking on Iowa on the women's side. That's going to be a good one. Um, although I don't know if it's really going to be good. Let me let me keep it a buck. Caitlin Clark is a monster. If you're going to put your bread down, put them on Iowa. Uh, North Carolina State, they made it to the finals. They women did. They'll be taking on Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame looking all right, though, when it comes to that one. Y'all know UConn number one. They playing uh Marquette in a Big East tournament. That's probably gonna be a blow. Uh, UConn. I would take UConn over Marquette. Should be a good one though. Another real good one. Three o'clock today that y'all want to keep an eye on is that LSU. I mean, for the women's side, LSU and South Carolina. That game's gonna be real good. Trust me. I mean, some people. You know, what I mean, look. A lot of guys say that the, the women's basketball is like a slower game. You want to see excitement and dunks and shit like. But to me, let me keep it a buck. It is exciting. You know what I'm saying? When you're watching it, it is. If you like hoops, you like hoops. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter whether a woman or a guy playing. But I can guarantee you some of these some of these chicks, some of these guards, they can definitely play on the men's side, yo, and get busy, bro. Like, I, I'm seeing it. Um, I, They be hooping. They be hooping. Trust me. They, I know they'll beat the shit out of some of us average Joes. So, I mean, like, for somebody to say, I ain't going to watch it, like, you can't beat them. Like, <laughs> you, can't, you probably couldn't beat them, so... You know, that's the funny part about that shit. USC got Stanford. It's going to be some good, good games today, man. You know what I'm saying? They call this, what, Championship Sunday in the basketball world, man. Y'all got to, we got to watch it, bro. Got to watch it. The ACC tournament for the men's side. Let's not forget, I'm sorry, Tuesday. Uh, you got the Hurricanes playing Boston, man. Look, sh- and I'm about to get up into the football, but I had to show the love to the jump. He said the last second three was clutch. Oh yeah, you what? You you that game, huh, bro? You seen it? Look, man, I was. Oh my god, I ain't even. I ain't even check that. I didn't even see that jump. I didn't. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but um, they be balling. They, these chicks be out here getting it. These chicks be out here getting it, man. They be balling. About to get up into this football side of things, though. So let's go ahead and let's cheers again for our coffee, you know. <laughs>